After a summer of volleying and defeat following an 0-3 2010 campaign, I, Martin Kessler, teamed with fellow sports writer Dennis Zhang in search of the Crimson's first face-off victory. We hit the Mer Center court to take on varsity tennis star Jonathan Perlman. The one-on-one tiebreaker to seven got off to a rough start as Perlman drills an unreturnable serve. I succeeded in returning his second attempt, but Perlman exploits my weak backhand to take the 2-0 lead. Perlman managed to get a racket on my smoking first serve, barely getting it back into play. Back, 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 and it's gone! Then the senior picks up back-to-back aces to go ahead 5-0. With my back against the wall, I send another powerful serve Perlman's way. But once again, my opponent targets my backhand to earn game points. I force Perlman into the corner, but he pulls another shot out of his bag of tricks. He sends me scrambling to take the tiebreak. But to Perlman's surprise, I had an ace up my sleeve. Looking to end the Crimson's string of losses, I dusted off my racket. Perlman unwisely chooses to go to my weapon of choice, the forehand. But despite Dennis's best efforts, I still found a way to sabotage the team. Real talk. Thanks to my intimidating on-court swag, I forced Perlman into a double fault to get us on the board. Do you believe in miracles? Not as long as I'm here. On the next point, I get greedy and go for a put away at the net, but I do my best Martin impersonation. And clearly I'm not learning from my mistakes. But just like Greg Jennings, DZ put the team on his back and rips a winner. With our opponent reeling, I knew it'd be the perfect time to serve and volley. Better work on that footwork, Pearlman. But that's as close as we would get, as Perlman returns to dominant form. Doing my best Michael Chang impression, I dink in an underhand serve. But an unfazed Perlman charges the net, where I proceed to blow the biggest shot of my life. Looks like it's back to the drawing board.